This week for form focus, I want to talk about shoulders. Specifically, I want to talk about sh the shoulder press and some alternatives if your mechanics aren't enabling you to do a shoulder press properly. So one of the big mistakes I see people doing is doing an overhead shoulder press movement, but not having the correct sh shoulder mobility to enable themselves to do that without causing actually an impingement in the shoulder. So if you have a very rounded shoulder posture naturally, so if you're standing and you just are quite rounded in, ladies, this is very common amongst women, especially large chested women because there's lots of weight coming forward. So if that posture is happening, if you then try to get into this shoulder press posture, I find that very uncomfortable. So likely you do as well. Um, but even if you don't find it uncomfortable, the, you're putting your shoulder at quite a bit of risk to ca causing an impingement through that front of the shoulder. So until you have that mobility, what I recommend is work on that mobility and do some alternate exercises until you have that mobility and then you can layer in that shoulder press. So some alternatives. So number one, um, the, the sim simplest alternative is just still using your dumbbells and doing a front or front side uh, or front or side raise. So a front raise or a side raise is just going to take you bringing the weights out in front, just coming to shoulder height or out to the side, only again coming to shoulder height, not locking out your elbows. I have a slight bend in my knees. I'm not locking out my joints. I'm holding that nice neutral posture from the side. What you'll see is my shoulders are in line. I'm holding that posture and I'm coming out to the side and back down. So that's a simple exercise you can use as an alternative to the shoulder press. It's still going to uh, fire up that deltoid for you and give you some shoulder um, strength. In the meantime, until you're getting that really good shoulder opening happening, what I want to see you working on is called a wall angel. So you're going to back up to a wall with a nice neutral posture and you're going to slide the back of your hands and forearms up and down the wall like an angel as many times as you can, nice and slow and controlled. And what I want to see is that the back of the hand and the back of the forearm are sliding up the wall. I want you only to come up as far as you can maintain that and maintain contact against your back, against the wall. If you start to uh, gape out from the wall, if you start to have to uh, bend at the, uh, at the wrist or at the elbow to kind of accommodate the movement because you don't have the mobility, stay within the range you can do properly and then transition only once you have that increased range of motion. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Jillian with a G at superu.ca. For more tips and videos, head on over to my YouTube channel or to my Facebook page, Super U Fit. Have a fantastic day.